Horticulture is working with plants. And this happens to be a class that's a transcribed credit class, which means a student that successfully completes uh, both semesters of this class will receive three Western Technical College credits. We're doing activities where you're, you're learning by doing. Um, and experiential learning is just a, a real important thing. And, and we have some awesome facilities uh, to do that in with our, our school greenhouse. Um, and the land lab that we have out next to the community garden. So we start right off in the year, we plant, we planted lettuce this year right at the beginning and uh, we'll keep growing all the way until the end of school. My favorite thing in this class was probably doing our different experiments like we had roses and we had them all in different solutions like one was in like seven up with water, one in four up some water and we'd like to see which one would last the longest. We've got things in, in floriculture, uh, things in um, caring for grapes and fruits, um, looking at hydroponics, working with hydroponic systems. Uh, we work out in the land lab uh, where students uh, will we'll do some things with vegetable production. Um, we even have a beehive out in the land lab. So I mean we even get a little bit into the animal side of things with insects. Well we work a lot with plants and we'll take a lot of different trips. Um, a lot of interesting trips. Uh, we go to Falls Flores and uh, some of the Melrose greenhouses. And it's just, it's just really fun. When I'm working outside and being able to be with students outside and they're asking questions and we're really getting into what we're doing, that's, that's just the, you know, I'm on the top of the world when I'm able to do those kinds of things. The class is woodworking, woods one. Uh, the students, they design and then they build their projects. Um, this is just, like Woods 1 is just a class where you get to like draw up an idea for your project and then you create it over the course of a semester or two semesters. Some of them kind of learn that they like to design and draw. Some of them don't like that. So um, uh, anyway, they, they get a good experience as far as safety on the machines. Um, well, by making a skate box, I'm going to be able to use it for when I skateboard during the summer and during the winter because I can use it in my garage and it's portable. Woods One does not have a prerequisite. Uh, we do have an exploratory freshman class that, uh, that uh, is recommended, but a lot of the students that take Woods One don't. It does prepare kids for the future. I get a lot of kids that, uh, even if they don't go into woodworking as a career, uh, they can use it in, in some of the construction trades because a lot of the same skills are used, uh, measurement and you know, using the machines and safety and all those things are very important. Um, I had a student uh, call me over Christmas break. Uh, he lives in Montana. He's starting a business, uh, refinishing, and fixing broken furniture and so, so forth. So uh, a lot of the kids that I've had, uh, I'll see them, you know, 20 years later or whatever, talk to them. And, they, they have woodworking shops in their homes, and, and so it's kind of neat because it's not only a, a career, but it's also a, a, maybe a lifelong hobby. The job, uh, the job course now is, is looking for these skills, and uh, construction trades people are right now on average in their 50s and getting very close to retirement, and so we need, we're going to need to replace a lot of these uh, people that will be retiring. Um, you so. can really relate what you're going to make in this class like to your outside life. You get to construct anything you want to. So that I'm kind of lucky because what I, what I teach I really love to do also. Uh, one of the things I'll tell them is I don't like golfing very well. I much prefer to build a deck than to go golfing. So, um, you know, to me it's not only a job but also something I really like. Of if a kid comes and says they want to build a particular thing, and I, I usually don't tell them, no, you can't build that. I, I always tell them, well, we'll figure out how to get it done, which we do. So that's the part I kind of like about it. It's challenging.